you're playing the waiting game, the show described by doctors treating patients for video game anticipation disorder as how did you get in here and what's a game spot would you like me to lance that. Today we're stabbing a lot of people, like a lot. Yes, formerly a Kinect title, now an Xbox One launch game, Rise Son of Rome sticks you in the sandals of Marius Titus, a Roman general with a big mouth and an even bigger penchant for murder. So before you go gallivanting around unzipping barbarians' torsos with reckless abandon, what should you be checking out? Attention lads! Well, first up, let's give you something to watch, shall we? Obviously, there are loads of films set in Rome, some of them so blindingly obvious they're barely worth mentioning. My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius. We know, dear. Let's see if we can't do better, shall we? HBO's somewhat unimaginatively titled Rome is a fantastically vibrant depiction of life in the ancient republic, from the political elite to the lowly soldier. It only ran for two seasons, as the budget required was frankly gargantuan, which should give you some idea of the show's scale. While it may play fast and loose with some of the historical facts, most of the characters are really interesting, particularly Mark Antony, who is as much of a rude boy as he is a military genius. And oh look, he's played by James Purifoy, who you may remember from our episode on Assassin's Creed Black Flag. <laughs> As well as Mr. Purifoy, there's a raft of great performances from British and Irish actors like Kieran Hines, Polly Walker and Kevin McKidd, who voiced Soap McTavish in Modern Warfare 2. It's basically a lot of screwing and stabbing, but there is a decent amount of political intrigue in there and, if nothing else, it should give you a sense of attachment to the Republic of Rome, for which, as we said earlier, you're about to kill a whole load of people. Now, of course, if you're about to play an entire game as a Roman general, it's probably a good plan to get some idea of how the Romans actually fought. To meet that end, you could make no finer choice than Total War Rome 2, a strategy game that pits you against the innumerable enemies of the Roman Empire. Putting you in charge of entire armies, the gameplay is decidedly different from that of Rise, but you can believe me when I say this game is utterly fantastic. On the other hand, Total War Rome 2 is a pretty beefy PC game, and if you don't have a gaming rig, chances are you won't want to build one just before buying an Xbox One. So if you still need a Roman gaming fix, why not invite some friends over and play the Republic of Rome? The Republic of Rome, one of my personal favourite tabletop games, lets each player take charge of a faction of senators in Rome. After that, it's a race to become the most powerful man in the Republic, while also trying to keep Rome afloat, by managing civil unrest levels and defending the Republic against emerging wars. It takes about six hours to play one game, but it's totally and utterly worth it. You make speeches, try and assassinate one another, basically it's the most hilarious farce of a board game I've ever had the pleasure of playing. If you want to sharpen your mind for the political maelstrom that is ancient Rome, this is the best way to do it. Just watch out for the slightly dodgy senator illustrations, they're a bit shit. Alright, so that's the games done and we've had TV, so this is the part of the show where I pimp out your local library. Now obviously the Republic of Rome is a very potent source of cultural inspiration, so there are no shortage of books set in this period, should you be a fan of the papery things with words on. The four book Emperor series by Con Igledon is a particularly good one, following the life of Julius Caesar from birth to spoilers, his murder on the Senate floor. Like so many things set in the Roman Republic, it does spice up the facts a little bit, but that shouldn't put you off, as Con Eagledon's writings really are a good way of preparing yourself for Rise, which, it may surprise you to learn, probably sexes up the Empire a bit itself. If that doesn't take your fancy, you could of course read some stuff by the people who were actually there at the time of the Roman Republic. Turns out they were quite prolific authors, who knew? If you want to go totally method, give the Meditations of Marcus Aurelius a go. It's all about how best to live as a Roman. Some of it, admittedly, is utter tosh, but sometimes he comes out with an absolute gem that gives you a different perspective on things. Just make sure you're wearing underwear should you decide to venture out in a toga. Anyway, that's it for this week. Hope you can make it to launch day without tearing your hair out. If you want to check out any of the stuff we recommended in today's show, or Rise itself for that matter, you should follow the link on screen now for a useful Amazon list. Until next time, as ever, you can leave us a comment or tweet using the hashtag GSWaitingGame. What are you looking forward to? Let us know. Bye for now.